This is part three on dry bones. And it's... Dry bones can be the unsaved or unbelieving people that you have in your life. But it's people that want to stay dead. They don't want the life of Yeshua. And these people have influence in your life whether or not you recognize it. They can influence you by not only talking to you, but by hundreds of other techniques that Satan has developed to deceive them and you. All of these influences are dry bones, just totally dry bones. And they move around you to drain your life, your faith, your finances, and especially your love. They plant resentment, bitterness, strife, to blind you and to deafen you to the will of your Father. We should all recognize certain people who are driven by negative outlooks, attitudes, and septic approaches. They employ all the negative words that Satan can plant in them. They are the world that hates the things of God, the people of God, and the covenants of God. They also mock prophecies and miracles as some type of delusion. Some of these dry bones people of the The world relies on them to teach unbelief, compromise, fear, herd mentality, and lustful pleasure-seeking. And we recommend the quest for pleasure on the, that you followed it up. Uh, it's on the Malachi 41 site. They teach and accept that there are no more absolutes. No divine law and no truth that is absolute. And yet, they will defend their lives and their things as though it's the only truth in the world. But they're so negative that they can't receive anything positive. Everything is acceptable as long as it, does not, as it does not mention what God says about it. Even operating on a five-year-old to change their sexual identity is considered normal and acceptable. Just like Jezebel and her Nicolaitans. They can, they, they had, everything was acceptable. Dry bones will seek to hold you in compromise attitudes to the world. So you don't want to offend the world. You want to just sort of go along with them or pretend you are. And you'll compromise to the world's traditions and the world's religiosity. You know, there's 613 laws and judgments, regulations in the First Testament. And they claim, oh, God is too, too uh, legalistic and too uh, restrictive. 
But if we look at Canada, Canada has over eight and a half billion rules and regulations and mandates. And that's not enough. They're still making more. But they, they can't see that there's something out of line with their thinking. But that same thinking will draw on, if you're not weary of it, not, not alert to it, it will draw you down into the same stupidity of thinking. The, they have this, I know best as to what is good for you. And it's a lie that is creating a false sense of security that cripples people into false religions, Baal worship, cult worship, climate worship, sex worship, and the worship of recreational games and drugs. But it's all part of the same system. They're all dead bones. They're trying to imprison you. If you rely on social media for news, opinions, assumptions, truth, and entertainment, and even to know what good thing and security that is being done for you, then you are being conditioned to accept all the errors pronounced by the Nicolaitans. These Nicolaitans, they're just, they're everywhere today. And they're all members of the World Economic Council uh, Forum. Dead bones keep growing around you, cutting off understanding, knowledge, and wisdom until only darkness will control your life. So if you're not willing to recognize them, get rid of them, turn them over. They're something that continually, slowly consumes you. Deception will not let you go because of the poison carried by the demons of unbelief, lies, and lust that are slowly turning you away from the faith once delivered. And that's why so many get left behind. They think they're going to be raptured, but they get left behind. The dead bones have more control of them than anything with life. So in closing, we bless you to hold fast to Yeshua, his body and his blood, that your faith will not fail. And so that your brain and mind can be washed clean of all dead bones. This we pray and decree in Yeshua's name. Amen and amen. Amen. amen.